Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. We're going to talk about the derivation of a few um, equations that will be useful in another derivation. Uh, these, all these will help us actually and to have some nice formulas for computing curvature and torsion um, very nicely. Um, also, we gain some intuitive insights as well in the derivation. I provide it here, although it is uh, optional um, to, to work through the details. So um, these are called, in this video, we're going to do Frenet, the Frenet-Serret uh, equations. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to start off then with um, dt ds itself. Um, now, remember that curvature is equal to the length of this. And also realize that this is the derivative of a vector that has a constant length. And, and notice also that, um, that ds dt is just a just a scale this is just a scalar and we're, we're so basically we're just taking a scalar multiple really of the um, of the of the unit normal vector which is just this rescaled to one so and in general what we can have it's actually in the direction of n with this being a positive value so we end up getting that this is simply equal to its length, which is kappa times the direction it's going um, as a unit vector, which is n. So this is the first equation, but we'll just keep that in mind. dt ds is equal to kappa n. Okay, and now we'll look at another one. That's handy. Um, all right, next we're gonna look at, um, an, at an equation for dB dS. Now, uh, keep in mind that, um, okay, so if we look at this, dB dS, let's think about B as being T cross N. So we're really looking at dDs of T cross N and we can use a product rule across the cross product. And, um, and taking a derivative with respect to S right here, instead of using a prime, I'm just gonna use a dot on the top of the letter and that'll represent derivative with respect to S instead of T. So prime I'll reserve for T, dot I'll reserve for S here. Okay, so um, that would be derivative of T with respect to S cross n plus t cross the derivative of n with respect to s. So we take a look at that and notice a few things. First of all, we're taking a derivative of t with respect to s. Remember what this was, it's just this, which is kappa n. Um, and if you take n cross n, um, you end up getting zero. That's because n is parallel to n and uh, and in, the, in cross product land, that just gives you that just gives you zero. Um, um, in one idea of cross product it gives you it gives you something akin to the area of a uh, of a parallelogram. And if and if these two sides are parallel, you're just going to get zero. So cross product with something and um, and itself in particular is zero. So this part just goes completely away. That's to zero. So this is actually interesting because that means that dBDS is actually the cross product of T and something else, which means that dBDS itself is perpendicular to T. So we'll keep that in mind. dBDS is perpendicular to T. But we also know something else because it's the derivative of a constant of a vector with a constant length. It's actually perpendicular to um, it's actually perpendicular to itself. Um, so it's perpendicular to both T and B, which means it's actually parallel to N because we have this nice frame um, with T and N and 
B and they're all perpendicular to each other. So if it's perpendicular to both T and B, it must be parallel to N. So we actually know something. We know that DB DS is equal to something um, times something times N. Now, what would it be? What times N in this particular case? Well, we also have um, in particular that dBDS, um, we know that dBDS dot negative n, that's the definition of the torsion. Torsion is equal to that. So um, what dBDS has to be in order for it to make this equation hold with n being a unit vector dotting with itself, you just get one. So to cancel that negative and get a tau eventually, you really should just have negative tau here. So this is the second um, of the frenet serret equations. And we're gonna put the third one of these equations in the next video. Thanks for watching.